What up everybody? We're here doing my collection video uh, and kind of rearranged shit in here a little bit. I pulled the drums out, moved the keyboards over there, had to use the wall shelves as <laughs> CD shit, then Zach gave me that CD shelf over there because I was out of room a little while ago. Then I put up these shelves over the window so I had a place to put all that shit that was on the wall shelves. And uh um, pumpkin pail. Yeah, we found that at Goodwill. But uh got these creepy ass dolls, man, from uh Chad at his store uh when he was closing it. I went over there to get a bunch of CDs and on it. he was like, Yeah, you can just have this and I was like, Yeah man, I want I want these creepy ass Korean dolls. Are you sure they're Korean? Uh yeah, yeah, it's like right there on the thing. Korean native uh dolls on the little base they stand on. Oh, okay. On. <clears throat> they almost look Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> we all just look the same, don't we? Oh yeah, this creepy ass leprechaun, man. I found that at the at home store, man. I was like, yeah, I'm getting this. It almost looks real. It's fucking creepy as fuck. Did you name him Seamus? Don't steal me pot of gold! Did you name it Seamus? Uh, no, I didn't give it a name. Seamus McLeod. <laughs> and then, um, let me see, any more random shit? Okay, so this is the new They Might Be Giants album book. And... I got this one because I was like, fuck it, man. Go ahead and get the big ass nice shit uh the cd is in there and but it is just a bunch of random pictures i mean just random pictures like that and then lyrics uh yeah and lyrics from like the last three albums damn um you had to fill it out somehow i guess yeah <laughs> random ass pictures it's fucking cool it's really damn cool um then I'm two copies of this Oh, that's two different albums. Oh, it looks the same. Uh, but yeah, you can get, they had it on tape, they had it on standard CD, but I was like, you know, the album's called Book, and it's a big old book project. Go ahead and get it on Book. Fuck it. Um, and then Cradle of Filth, the new Cradle of Filth album on cassette. This bitch is uh, pretty oh, it's cool. It's red. Yeah. Fuck it, and I was like, fuck yeah. A lot of bands are doing cassettes now. Yeah, man, I think it's cool. Like, certain ones, I'll buy them. Because I'm like, shit, I want that shit. Um, yeah, nothing else over this way. Um, but I got to do... more Mario stuff? Yeah, I haven't bought any more. I think I finally got a standard Luigi. And other than that, I'm kind of done until I see more villain characters around. I might get some more Yoshis and shit. Um, but I got a new... Oh yeah, this. The new Ailstorm live album. They did uh, a box just like they did for Curse of the Crystal Coconut. And I don't fucking do live albums. Uh, but I was like, fuck it, man. I want the damn goddamn... Uh, box you know if they keep doing boxes i'll continue to get them fucking because these are rad but uh i don't think that the contents of this box are as cool as that one but due to covid you got a flag of the album cover a uh what is this drinking crew lanyard and a special seven inch just like that one had but that's all it came with, other than the CD, DVD, and a Blu-ray. So I'm guessing, you know, they're... Since well, you're at least two you got DVDs, a Blu-ray. Yeah. You know, Why would so. you need two DVDs, though? Right, it's two, a DVD and a fucking Blu-ray. The thing is, now that you got a 4K TV, watching old DVDs sucks. Does it? Yeah. <laughs> it looks terrible. But I also went ahead and I got the new Lord album on vinyl. You know, let's get demonetized because of the. Oh, there's a glare. I only got it for the superior sound quality, you know. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. But that album is good. I like it a lot. But it is such a summer album that it coming at the tail end of summer, uh, I wasn't vibing it all that much. But I mean, I do like it a lot. Uh, so. 
over here. Uh, I found a shitload of 311 at the second and Charles and it kind of got me on a 311 kick. So I had found their second album, Grassroots. That shit is good. Um, I actually, uh, because these two, so I got Transistor. This is fantastic, man. This is 21, this is a big ass fucking album. Uh, they always do long. Man, this long one is fucking good. Like that. Uh, and then Sound System. I had ordered these off of eBay because uh, these are the ones that I found these in uh, Grassroots. I found these over at the Second and Charles. How much were they? Um, shit, three dollars. I found these on a Regina Specter and only spent maybe twenty-five bucks. But uh. These two from eBay. Because I literally don't look at their CD collection. Yeah. Because I'll see something like, I don't know, something random in your in your thing. Five ninety nine, six ninety nine, eight ninety nine. Or used CD? Hell no. But so what I did was the, this was in a three pack bundle on eBay. Somebody was selling, and it had this one. But I had already found that one in Second and Charles, so I got it. and I just gave that extra copy to Zach. Yeah. But uh. This one's good. Evolver's really good. I found this one at the Goodwill a couple weeks ago. Don't tread on me. That one's good, too. And I remember us talking so much shit about this one. Yeah, I don't really remember. And when I was listening to it, I was like, damn, this is actually really good. Like, it sounds nothing like I remember bitching about it sounded like. And then one of their newest ones. That's the uh, one after. The one after, uh, what is this? Voyager. That one's good as fuck, too. And it came out like a year or two years later. Yeah, not long at all. It seemed like it was such a short span of time. Yeah, not long at all. I found a tribe called Quest um, Beats, Rhymes, and Life at the Goodwill. And then this is a the new album from Ad Infinity. Infinitum, a symphonic metal band. They're decent. They're they're not as epic as I want them to be. Like they kind of go for more of the pop metal symphonic side, kind of like Amaranth, where it's not incredibly technical and bombastic, but it's all right. Um, then I found some AFI at the Goodwill. I found Black Cells and the Sunset, really uh, Song, Sing the Sorrow, and then December Underground. Those are really good ones. And yeah, I need to listen to them again, man. <laughs> did I you listen to them at all? Uh, not since we did that retro a long time oh, ago. Man. Yeah. But since I was getting the the new Live Ale Storm, I went ahead and I got their Leviathan EP. This is just four songs, and it's only worth it for Heavy Metal Pirates and uh, Weber and Wayne. Wayne? I don't know. It's just, I, I'm guessing that's Winches and Mead in German. But it's just a German version of Win Winches and Mead. Now I got their first live album. Uh, it's got a DVD and a CD. Haven't watched the DVD, but I mean, they're not, they don't really sound all that great live. To me, the, <laughs> the studio sounds better. Now the new live one, uh, I like the cover with the big ass rubber duck on the pirate ship. Uh, but it's a better live album. Uh, but still, I'm like, yeah, studio. Studio is the way to go. I think really the the coolest thing on here is they do Drunken Sailor. Um, and then these, Josh had gave me these. The Z, Z, I can never, Ala Zul Ilu, a Juggalo band on uh, Magic Ninja. These two albums are stoner versions of The Evil Dead. Uh, Necronama Bong or some shit. They were fucking good. Liked them a lot. Uh, the new Andrew WK. Man. It's a, kind of a disappointment. <laughs> the production is weird. The songs are all mid-tempo. I mean, it does not hit me like You're Not Alone does. I mean, it's a decent album. It's um, not uplifting. Yeah, it's just kind of, eh, I don't know. I don't know. It's, I don't know why god is not partying yeah <laughs> seriously and i found a apocalyptica album in um covington georgia when me and Stas went out that way on uh, our anniversary it's okay it's not as 
it's not what I was really thinking it was gonna be. Yeah. Uh, the new Ari album, I guess that's how you pronounce that. It's um, the dude from Nightwish's other band. That shit's really good. Um, to me, I like it more than the first one. Uh, over at Chad's store, he gave them all to me for a dollar. I got like seven didn't CDs. I have that one already. Right, like that's I, a good one. It's mostly all, or it literally is all screaming. Yeah, this one like real, real heavy. Uh, but yeah, what is that? Sounding the seventh trumpet. Yeah. Um From Avenged Sevenfold, pretty damn good. But uh, so yeah, I only need like two or three Avenged Sevenfold albums, and I'll have them all. And. The Rock for Light Bad Brains reissue finally dropped. It kept getting delayed, and man, so they're going back to the original mix because uh, the, when they put it on CD for the second time, they changed the fucking track listing and sped the tape up like a half step or so, and it almost sounds like Chipmunks. This one sounds so much fucking better. So much fucking better. Uh, they have a couple more reissues coming out that I'm going to be getting. Uh, then you gave me this Bad Religion. I still haven't listened to it yet. You'll remember it when you hear it. Uh, then hell, you gave me the, that Basement Jacks last night. We traded, uh, traded you that Flaming Lips. Did you listen to the Basement Jacks? Uh, no, I put it on the computer. I just hadn't listened yet. Uh, I, found, I finally found Abbey Road uh, at the Goodwill several months back. I got uh, the 2009 reissue. Rad. I got this Beck album. Damn, I've had that too. From a uh, Chad store. Um, this one I like a lot because he Is goes... Is that the one with uh, Sun Eye Girl? Or is it just called Girl? Yeah, I think it's just called Girl. Okay, yeah. But yeah I think, that uh, music video was cool because everything folded in like a mad oh, magazine. Man. Right, but I think this is one where the Dust Brothers come back to uh, produce his shit, like on Odelay. That was a good one. Found this uh, recently at the Goodwill. Man, this album is great. Fucking this That's album. That's one we uh, mom gave dad for Christmas. Yeah, for I, his I, birthday. I, I remember that shit. But man, I was not expecting the amount of cussing on here and attitude and shit. And damn, that album is great. I'm gonna have to find some more goddamn Ben Folds. Go to Goodwill. Shit. You'll always find them uh, a good what is this? Oh, yeah, the new Between the Buried Me, man. Phenomenal motherfucking album. All the way through. We've, all, we've already talked about that album yeah. so much, and we're still going to talk about it because <laughs> yeah. we still have one more video coming. Yeah, so we got. I found this in uh, when we were on our. Blade Runner soundtrack. Yeah, man, this shit's rad. Just uh, it all like, I was about to say, is it all shit. synthesizer yeah. shit? Um, <clears throat> anything else here? Oh, yeah, I finally got. This goddamn uh, holy grail right here, Bloodhound Gang's uh, EP, Dingleberry Haze. Uh, this was incredibly hard to get a hold of uh, without spending a whole lot of money. And what I do like here is it had a hype sticker, but see, the deal was our, our good friend uh, Ryan Zalewski posted that he had got it um, sealed. And I'm like, oh shit, where, man? And he said, Jimmy Pop has a Discogs page where he was selling them for $20. So I went on there, bought it, and he also said that uh, you can get it on their website for 20 bucks. <clears throat> so I went ahead and got it, fucking sealed. Hi original hype sticker is still on there, but it just fell right the fuck off. But the hype sticker is hilarious. It says... Uh, FBI warning, the contents of this package may contain material too stupid to be taken seriously by the average consumer of music. It is in our best interest financially to post such a warning for the sole purpose of increasing sales to the young, gullible, naive, uh, impressionable, mentally challenged, and senseless individual like yourself. Uh, who is hoping to find anti-establishment messages, racial slurs, non-politically correct statements, and some good old-fashioned cuss words. Now, take your simple ass to the cash register. <laughs> Fucking love that it, man. That sounds like something that they would have had, like, as a run as a sketch in one of their yeah, other yeah. Older albums. Uh, so what's cool about this is all the songs are on their first album. These are just slightly different. Some of the lyrics are a little different. The, the gang vocals were like, everybody shouts... Uh, aren't as big and uh, I think one of the more noticeable lyric changes is um, 
the one song where he says, uh, um, I know you mean, uh, fuck, um, we know you say no, but we hope you mean maybe. On here, they say, you might say no, but we know you mean maybe. So it's a little more rapey on this one instead of stupid. But uh, it, it is a great little time capsule. It's one I've been trying to get a hold of for a long time. So now my collection is about 99% complete. I just have to get a uh, yellow fever copy of One Fierce Beer Coaster. So... Jimmy Pop is selling one of those for $80 on his mm. Discogs, but I'm like, $30? i will buy it for $30. I'll, I'll drop $30 on it. I am not... I, until then, I'm going to It's like $100 for yeah, something. Something for one song that isn't even that great. Yeah. I'm so used to One Fierce Beer Coaster being this way without it. Yeah. And the song isn't all that great. And then what blows my mind is it's not even any more offensive than some of the other shit that's on their other albums, so whatever. But yeah, glad to fucking have that. That shit is uh, awesome. Found this bowling for soup. Like he wishes he was gay so he could get shit. Yeah, right. For <laughs> real. I'm like, this is really the most offensive thing on here. Uh, but yeah, found this. Uh, I got that one. Drunk enough to dance. This is actually really good, man. Yeah, I got that one at Goodwill, but the cover's all waterlogged. Oh, I hate that shit. But this, the disc was in good shape, and it was a dollar. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, that's the shit. one with uh, the girl all the bad guys want, right? Mm -hmm, yeah. yeah. That's like what, their sixth or seventh man. album, though? Oh, man, but I don't know why the fuck, man, I am so nostalgic at the moment for some shit that I was not into heavily. Uh, but I guess hearing it is just reminding me of being a teenager, and it's reminding me of, like, all the movies that came out that had all the teen movies that came out with that shit. American Pie. <laughs> yeah. But I found some bush, found Science of Things, and uh, Golden State. Golden State's kind of meh. Yeah, I still haven't listened to Golden State, but Science uh, of Things is good. I got a Butcher Babies album. This is really good. Uh, there, it is a heavy metal band with two chick singers, and they're pretty badass. Um, dig it. Take your picture in the shadow and look more... Dark. Yeah, look, I got blood on my boobs. Dark and gloomy. We're blood vampires. <laughs> um, I gotta get some more of that shit. Uh, let me see. Yeah, you gave me this yesterday. And I listened to it, and I was like, damn, this is actually pretty fucking funny. Yeah. Like, if you're into political humor and shit, this is this shit was actually cracking me up. Living libido loca. Like, goddamn, I was like, this is actually really fucking funny. Apparently, they've got over 40 albums. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And uh, they did... <laughs> I was looking them up. They dropped an album when Trump uh, was president called Orange is the New Barack. <laughs> I was like, God damn, man. That's fucking clever. <laughs> uh, and then, uh, is this the first Cars album? Yeah. Is it? Yeah, it's pretty good. I listened like to it Like every once. fucking song you yeah, know. Yeah, dude. I was like, God damn. Like, every time I was like, damn, I know this song. I know this song. I know Remember this song. Remember when we did that when I put it on on vinyl? Because um, you were at my house when I bought it and put it on and each song we had that same experience we were like damn yeah well, like, damn. i know this damn. i know this uh so i'm trying to get all the chumbawamba albums and i got one of their early ones from 90 fucking it's like 91 or some shit uh how much album. are you dropping on them this i only spent about 10 bucks that ain't bad yeah uh but this is great holy shit this is good this is really fucking good uh, it it's I, I kind of is it's fairly similar to Tub Thumper. Is that the most you spent on a Chumbawamba? Well, the other ones were like thirteen, fourteen. Oh, that ain't on bad. Amazon. Yeah, yeah. Like, on Amazon. Mm -hmm. Oh, I thought. Yeah, these are the only ones you can really get new on Amazon. Uh, are they later ones? Yeah. Well, I'll get to that in a second. But this is mm. similar to Tub Thumper, where it's kind of dancey stuff with guitars, real catchy shit. There's a little bit of rap on here. There's a lot of attitude, a lot of cussing on here. Um, crease, motherfucking bullshit, shit like that. Uh, but man, is this fucking great. Fucking love that shit. Um, but uh, this one is English Rebel Songs, 1381-1984. This was originally their second or third album, and it's all acapella 
um, old fucking rebel songs, old protest songs. And what they did was in 2003 or so, they they felt they were better at singing. So they went ahead and just re-recorded all the songs and added a couple of more songs and re-released it like that. Mm. Uh, and then one of their later albums, A Sing Song and a Scrap, this is really fucking good too. This is more uh, kind of like folky protest shit too. It reminds me of Flogging Molly. Like that. It's not as Irishy, but it's just folky as fuck. All, mostly acoustic, some accordions, violin shit going on. Really fucking good. Like damn, man. So yeah, I'm I'm going on. I'm I am completing the Chumawamba collection this year. How many is there? Uh, many, <laughs> many. Um, so I hit the Goodwill, man. I had a big ass fucking score uh, this year, and found pretty much every Circle Jerks album except for one. But their first two albums together, two punk classics for uh, the price of one. But Group Sex and Wild in the Streets, uh, their album Golden Shower of Hits, <laughs> fucking love that. Uh, then their album um, Wonderful, yeah, Wonderful, and Oddities, Abnormalities, and Curiosities. Uh, I think I like this one the best out of all of these, but this this is some good ass fucking shit. Um, love the shit out of that. I was like, damn man. Uh, and I finally, I got this at Chad's store, so I have all the CKY now. Uh, and it's decent. It's pretty good. Uh, what the fuck? I found the first Paula Cole album when we were on our uh, anniversary vacation. Eh, it's alright. I really like the goddamn one with the Dawson's Creek song, but that one's kind of whatever. Uh, found the Corpse Bride soundtrack at Goodwill. I've been trying to get a hold of this for a long time. And, really? Uh, yeah, fucking, and... Still, sadly, it's not as memorable as uh, I don't even remember liking that movie. I remember liking it, but definitely not as much. Like, when I saw it, I was like, yeah, this kind of sucks. And everyone's hyping over it because that was like the, the start of the Johnny Depp thing. <laughs> uh, and then, yeah, the new Cradle of Filth album, Deluxe Edition, with um, two extra tracks, uh, I believe. One or two extra tracks. Um, but I love that album cover, man. It has such an old-timey... Uh, I love old paintings that were was like the devil just eating naked people. <laughs> and that's definitely what's going on on here. I'm, I'm loving the shit out of that. Uh, Cradle of Filth have recently passed several albums. It's like titties all over the cover. Mm. Like a motherfucker. Uh, but it's good. I like it a lot. I mean, it's fucking Cradle of Filth. Uh, Are they one of those samey bands with yeah, the problem? Mm -hmm. There you go. Just fucking, it's the same you know shit, different album. You yeah. know what you're gonna get. But they're one of the few that I'm totally cool with. Same shit, different yeah. album. Uh, you like just gave Drop me this. Kick. Yeah, Dropkick, KMFDM, you know. Um, Link in the description for the video that I gave that to Travis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Zach just gave me this Credence album. Um the fuck is this? All right, all right, yeah. A signed copy of the uh, the new Dana Dentata album, uh, Panty Christ. This is fucking awesome. All right, you can only get it on her uh, website or Bandcamp, but uh, is that a burn CD? Yeah, it's got a blue look to it. Yeah, it's the only one. It's the only CD version is on there on her damn Bandcamp. But this is like rap and metal, but it's it almost reminds me of Otep. Hmm. Uh, but I like that you get a card with the... Uh, you basically got two fuck of the same lyric book, but wow. one is thicker than the other. But yeah, straight up signed. Good as a motherfucker. Love this album. Uh, that goddamn song at the end. I be on my Kid Rock shit. Everybody in the world, they can suck my dick. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, that's fucking good. Apparently she was in some metal band uh, before she went solo, but yeah, this shit's good, man. I dig it. She's naked all over the place. Yeah, naked all over the place. I got a lot of naked lady uh, albums this year. Uh, this, yeah. That one's good. 
Yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, I don't like it as much as uh, between these crowded streets, uh, but I like this. Yeah, a lot. I don't have the slip cover, but is there really any need for no a slip fucking cover? need for? I don't understand <laughs> this, man. It annoys me so much when somebody does a slip cover and it's the same thing. Yeah, both fucking sides. Like, really? Did you need to waste that many trees? Yeah, four trees. Um, Dave Matthews said, we don't care about your oxygen. Yeah, so I finally... It's, for some reason, it's hard to get a hold of some of their shit. But I got two more albums of these guys to get. Uh, Diablo Swing Orchestra. This band is phenomenal. That looks like a Ren and Snippy thing. Yeah, 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 it does. Um... But I have their Sing Songs for the Damned and Delirious. I have Pandora, uh, Pandora's Pinata and their new album, um, Swagger and Stroll Down the Rabbit Hole. This shit, they do like heavy metal swing music and all kinds of shit. Jazz, fucking folky shit. There's a song on the new one called, uh, Goddamn, uh, where is it at? Um... It is so hard to read these. Jig of the Century, and it's this fucking jiggy song. I don't know, it's so fucking good. So goddamn good. Um, really good shit. Highly recommend them. But I got two more to get. Their first album is really hard to get a hold of, cheap, and for some reason they're... You didn't open your ghost? Nah, because I mean, I had the downloads, and I was like, fuck it. Uh, but yeah, highly recommend those guys. Uh, did a... Fucking, I guess I'm gonna finish these two shells and then smoke a cig. But found Dinosaur Jr., their album Bug. This is fucking great shit. Uh, I think I might have it. No, I have Jesus Lizard. Similar to, uh, similar to, uh, Sonic Youth to me. Found, uh, Dirty Vegas when we were, uh, on our anniversary vacation. The hell you doing? Oh. Trying to find somewhere to prop oh, myself. Somewhere to lean. Shoot, grab a chair. <laughs> but this is fucking good. This is really good. Um, I forgot about the song Days Go By. Uh, I was like, damn, yeah, so that was them, huh? No, no, no. But good shit uh, if you like early to mid 2000s house and club music. Gotta get that new David Bowie. There's a new one? Yeah. It was one that was unreleased back in like 2002 or something. And it's got like three or four discs in it. God damn. It's in a box like that thick. It's God. like $34. Damn. Uh, I finally grabbed some Mike, uh, Mike Doty. He's the singer from, uh, Soul Coughing. And apparently Dave Matthews, uh, is a good buddy of his and signed him on his label. A lot of these songs are very Dave Matthews band style. Um, you're gonna be on my label, you're gonna yeah. play like us. And apparently Matthews plays on a track and he sings on the song Tremendous Burnettes. This shit is good as fuck. So I need, I need to find some more Mike Doty solo shit. The new Dream Theater, this is really good. Dream Theater is one of those bands that they'll release a really great fucking album and then maybe a few real lackluster albums and then another really great one. Well, because The Astonishing was phenomenal and then this one was kind of whatever. But then this one is fucking phenomenal. This one is really good. You got every song is... There's no song below six minutes on here. You got seven tracks, and the last one, View from the Top of the World, 20 minutes and 24 Jeez. seconds, and that's what I'm talking about. So, really good fucking album uh, from Dream Theater. They have, like, just been consistent. Yeah, man, oh. about every year and a half, two years, they're dropping something. And How many albums do they have? Uh, a lot. And right now, I have uh, one, two, three, four. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I have thirteen, and I still have a couple more to get. Damn. Yeah. Uh, found Emerson Lake and Palmer's works when we were on our anniversary vacation. What we did this year was, was a greatest hit. No, nah, it is the one before. Uh, it says volume one. Yeah, because they did two volumes. Oh. Uh, they they did it before Love Beach. Uh, and this was that thing that all them prog guys did where it was like, oh, I'll get a couple songs just to myself. Mm. You get a couple songs just to yourself. So it's like Uma Guma or The Fragile from Yes. Uh, but that's basically what's going on here is everyone gets their own little spot to write their own songs instead of doing shit together. Uh, 
So it's not Emerson, Lake, and Palmer. It's Emerson, <laughs> Lake, Palmer. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Uh, got the new X Dio album. I need to get their others. This is really good. It's like fairly catchy death metal, uh, but it's apparently, after Dio. Um, apparently <laughs> all their songs are about Roman shit and like ancient Rome shit. Uh, so that's kind of cool. This is uh, the 13 years of Nero. This is a really good ass little uh, concept album, metal concept album. Dig it. Dig it. Then I found um, Transmissions from the Satellite Heart. This is awesome. This is That's a really a good, good fucking song, uh, album. I was like, shit, yeah. Um, and then what is this shit? Oh, yeah, The Flies. Um, goddamn, Josh came over a couple weeks ago. was like, dude, man, Zach's got that Flies album. Da, da, da. I'm like, what is that? And he's like, you know this song? And he starts playing the uh, Got You Where I Want You. I was like, damn, I remember this song, man. And I look online, like $5 on eBay. I was like, fuck it, yeah. <laughs> this album is great. Fucking great. The family is all funky and shit. But yeah, man, I, this is a sound that I miss. That, that 90s fucking alt-rock sound. Totally fucking miss that sound. And you get it in a couple new bands today. Uh, man, you didn't already have that Gin Blossom? Uh, no. Uh, but what, yeah, what we did on our anniversary vacation this year is we, we checked out Covington, Georgia, and uh, um, Athens, and just hung out, and we just went to a bunch of Goodwills and thrift stores. But uh, I found uh, the second Ghostface Killer album, uh, and this shit is great. I, I like it more than his first one, um, Iron Man, but that is good. But yeah, I found this Jim Blossoms. Uh, Oh no, not this one. <laughs> this one. Uh, Found that one. Um, still haven't listened to it. And, alright, so these... Their, their music kind of just has that theme from Friends vibe. <laughs> Damn. Uh, so, God Lives Underwater. This band... I was, around Halloween, I was listening heavily to all my Rob and White Zombie and I was listening to the uh, American-made music to strip by, and I was like, who are some of these people that remix these songs? And I saw God Lives Underwater, and I was like, damn, I know they got a song on the More Combat, Mortal Combat album. So I looked them up, and I was like, damn. Uh, they only made three CDs and an EP. And uh, so I got their first EP, I got their first album, I got their second album, and this one is pretty hard to get. Um, their final album, uh, and then he died. Yeah. Um, R.I.P. Yeah, but the final album, apparently people bitch that it doesn't sound good. To me, I'm not an audiophile. It sounds okay to me, but they're, they're cool. It's just electro rock, similar to Filter, or, uh, you know, not as heavy as some industrial can be, but not as soft as some industrial rock can be. But, uh... Really fucking good shit. This one's a little more experimental, uh, but uh, this one's hard to get. I actually got this one on Discogs for $10 because uh, the guy in the description said, CD, no jewel case, CD and inserts only. And I'm like... That sucks. I'm like, I got tons of fucking jewel cases over there. You know, I'll drop $10 on it if I get the fucking inserts. And damn sure I did. Got the damn inserts. And I popped them in a jewel case. Got the motherfucker. But those albums are great. It's a band that uh, I hate that I, I never, never heard of them. So the new Halsey album, this is phenomenal. I've never heard anything she's ever done before. I've always heard of her. You put the Target sticker on it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Gotta save that. Speaking of which, uh, the Target at the extra track, psh, I'll get to that in a second. Uh, so, the only reason I bought this was because I saw a little article right before it was coming out saying Trent Reznor and Atticus Ross produced it. And I was like, okay, I don't know shit about her, but, you know, I, I'm, a, I'm a fan of anything Trent and Atticus do. So I bought it, and, man, as soon as it starts, that piano comes in, I was like, that's Trent playing that piano. That's fucking Trent. Fucking love this album. It's great. Well, apparently there's a bit of a controversy. Uh, Target exclusive, all right, extra track, has the poster, apparently the first run, they forgot 
to add the bonus track. <laughs> so there is no bonus track on these first runs. Apparently they have ran out of those and then they've re-released it with the bonus track for Target. Do you have but, a non-bonus track? Uh, it's supposed, this is the non, this is the original release that where they forgot to put the bonus track on. Uh, and, well, apparently what you could do was send a cop, like a picture of your receipt to some website to download that track. And I was like, man, fuck all that shit. Go YouTube. You know, yeah, you know, I'm like, I'm not worried about it. I'm like, the album's fine. Uh, one, it might be worth something one day yeah, just exactly. because it excludes a track. Uh, yeah, like, you know. It says it's on there, but it's not. Yeah. But, yeah. Dig the shit out of that. Really, really good fucking album. Uh, what is this? Yeah, I found the first two Harry Potter soundtracks at Goodwill. Uh, the two that uh, John Williams had made. And uh, I had listened to them both and loved the shit out of these. I still want to do... I was talking to David about this today. I still want to do a doomy classical metal kind of band that's Harry Potter themed called Slytherin. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody wears Slytherin robes Slytherin or whatever. Slytherin pants. <laughs> Maybe do a song in the uh, in the Slytherin snake language, <laughs> you know? Uh, but I think that'd be rad. Uh, yeah, I found this Hollywood Undead. Uh, this sucks. Yeah. <laughs> I, am, I am not into this. Uh, it is It is about... It is... It's got one foot off of my shelf and the other foot on a banana peel. Like, I am that close to just throwing it over there and being like, oh, I'm never going to fuck with this band. Mm -hmm. uh, not a fan. I uh, found more Incubus, uh, this one, Morning View, over at Chad's store. This is really good, too. I need to get the rest of the Incubus. They're all right. Um, yeah, I was, I'm digging it. I'm like, you know what, man? Dig it. I used to hate on them back in the day. Um, yeah, I did, too. And, you know, blind hate. Blind hate. I just didn't care for the... It was probably m mostly the hype around them and the the music videos, like, I remember the, the one songs was like that came. Himself yeah, out of the thing. I didn't care about any of that. Yeah, at the time because it got I was overplayed. It. Yeah. it got overplayed. It felt I, like I liked the Megalo Maniac when, song when it came when out. When you're young and you're sitting there waiting on a Marilyn Manson or an ICP <laughs> or a fucking Green Day video to come on, and it's Creed and fucking yeah, Incubus. You're waiting to see something you want to see. Yeah, but you're all like, else. man, fuck this. Um, Fucking so this year, uh, every couple of years, it's mostly when like ICP drop a new album, I get into this kick where I'm uh, I gotta catch them all. Yeah, I'm like, let me go ahead and you know just fill out some more ICP that I need. Well, I finally got the uh, the Triple X cover. Let's get demonetized again. Triple X cover of Tunnel of Love. This is the 2003 reissue. Um, it also has an extra track, uh, Mental Warp, which, I mean, we've heard a million times. It's on the Forgotten Freshness, too. But, uh, yeah, so you got Shaggy's face, uh, photoshopped on a porn star and a big old dick there. And, I mean, had to get it. Been meaning to get it for a long time. Uh, then I got this, uh, American Psycho Tour Exclusive. It is ICP and Twisted. Uh, collaborating there are uh, six songs two that are just ICP two that are just twisted and two where they both collaborate and the song get geeked is on forgotten freshness 5 and what's funny is on forgotten freshness 5 in the little bit where they they give you a little detail about the song it says it's from the super rare tour exclusive no 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 battery's dying oh damn is it you got a yellow light yeah, uh, plug that bitch. Uh. Ooh, where did this bitch go? The fuck is that? The fuck is what? I right, plug it in the side. Fuck, that looks weird. Yeah, on the top. Wrong. Other way. God damn. <laughs> there it goes. But yeah, so it says 
that it's a super rare tour exclusive. I got this thing for $3 on eBay. Wow. And I don't see any copies more than five. But, uh... These two I've been meaning to get for a while. Uh, the Marvelous Missing Link ICP Outtakes. This is actually really good. Is um, that new? Uh, it came out the the same year. Oh wow! Yeah, toward the end of that year, it came God. out. How many times are you gonna release that same fucking album? I know. Or parts and from that album? It was. It's seven tracks that were left off of Lost and seven tracks that were left off of Found, and they each got an intro, the Lost intro and the Found intro, which aren't really even on these. You don't get a fucking. You've got intro, and then but I don't know. They just weren't. They just weren't that great, but I think this as a whole together is much better than both of these albums separate. But uh, they should have just put it in a big ass box like they did the two before it. Mm-hmm. And but uh, you know, since the new ICP was coming out, I went ahead and I listened to all of the new Joker cards, and those two I don't mind them as much now like I did back then. I mean, I still, I, I, I flip-flopped. I like Lost a lot more than Found, but Found has uh, a lot of stuff I like on it too, but then a lot of crap. But uh, this is really good. And then Hell's Cellar is songs left off of Hell's Pit. And it is kind of whatever. I really like Can't End Myself, um, where he's talking about he's trying to kill himself and he just keeps doing all this different shit. He winds up uh, just a torso skateboarding down the street. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's fine, but there's absolutely no Shaggy on here. Like, what? yeah, he's there for a second doing uh, some carnival barker shit, but like no Shaggy raps at all on this. Not very good, but you know me, you gotta, gotta keep getting that ICP. You gotta get them all. And then the new ICP, uh, Yum Yum Bedlam. I like this album a lot. I really do. Um, but it is, goddamn, man, so much shit uh, stuffed in here. The fucking, I like that. That's cool looking. Oh. Uh, but I like how, um, and this is the original release that you could only get on their uh, their website. Because they did a pre-order that was only open for like one day. And uh, so I did that. But I like how they have it both. Where you can have whichever version. Uh, mm, that's cool. Yeah. But apparently they're going to do three EPs wow. for the seed characters. Like they did with the rat on the last one. And all I got to say is y'all better not fucking bullshit your way like you did with the Yum Yum's lore, which pisses me off because you had to pay like 80 something dollars on their Patreon to get a, co a CD copy of that shit. Uh, what was that, the EP? Yeah, the EP earlier last year. So don't fucking do that bullshit. You better goddamn put them on CD, motherfuckers. For a band that was all serious about, you know, all that extra shit and special editions on the CDs to fucking do that, that pissed me off. I was really fucking mad. But uh, I like this album a lot. It ain't great. I mean, I still think I like uh, Red Fred better out of, out of these, but there's a lot of good shit on here uh, that uh, I do like. Um, what is this? Uh, found some more NXS. This is the one after Kick, Ooh. and it's okay. Is there anything I would know on it? Uh, probably not, because there's nothing I knew. Rockstar in excess. <laughs> so we're going to go smoke a cig real quick, and then we'll get to the last uh, shit shit. Uh, so... A dinosaur tail. This is the new Ginger album. It's all right. It's not all that impressive to me. Uh, there's I not didn't think the stuff they've done before was really that impressive. It, yeah, it's fine. I wish they'd do more reggae shit, which there's like a reggae song or two on the other two albums that I have. There's no reggae song on here. Uh, it's just a decent metal album. Uh, but this, uh, I showed this last time. This was the newest album that I got last uh, time. Why are you showing it this time? I'm showing it this time because I mentioned last time I was like, so it just came in today. Don't know if it sucks or not. 
Oh, it's bad. <laughs> it is bad. But there's a couple songs I like, but it's really just a time capsule. But me, myself, and I is still my jam. But man, it is bad. It is. I can all, I can tell why the man only made one fucking album. Uh, probably not by choice. Uh, so the new John Five album, Center. This shit is great. God damn, it is phenomenal. Uh, if if you're into shred music, mostly instrumental fucking guitar shit, this dude is a beast on guitar. And uh, what Marilyn Manson was he on? Um, Holy Wood to uh, Golden Age, I believe. For some reason, I keep thinking he's on um, Mechanical Animals, but apparently he's not. Um, but I don't know. But this shit is good. There's a he does a cover of Crazy Little Thing called Love that is amazing on here, and it's instrumental. But he uses the guitar to do the vocal parts, and it's so fucking good. And it's all rockabilly and shit. Oh man, it's so good. Uh, man, I love this album. Does a cover of. Uh, George on my mind with Peter Chris playing drums and shit. <laughs> uh, the song K Pasa features Dave Mustaine, and all Dave Mustaine does is K Pasa people, K Pasa, K Pasa people, K Pasa. It's like, it's like why, why are you even here? Just to say some things, but it's it's a cool fucking track. The dude just wails, man. Plays with the kill switch and shit. It's so fucking cool. Uh, I finally found Goodbye Yellow Brick Road from Elton John. This album is great. Really fucking good. This is some shit I found at Goodwill. King 810 or King 810. I don't know. David talks highly about these guys. And I don't know. It's just decent metal to me. I don't know. Um, uh, this I got at Chad's store. I cannot pronounce this. Um, Corpiclonis. I don't know. Some folk metal band. Uh, but yeah, they're rad as fuck. They got accordions and stuff. They're cool as shit. Um, so over here, uh, after getting the new Ministry album, I got in that kick where I'm like, I want to get some more shit that Al Jurgensen is on. So I went ahead and... oh. The fuck? Oh yeah, this is not what I was about to talk about, but this is the new Lana Del Rey, <laughs> the second album she had did last year. And you know what? Both of them are good, but they're kind of disappointments compared to Norman fucking Rockwell. Uh, I don't know. They're just too quiet. Too or quiet. is it that she's putting too much out too fast? I have no clue, but it's, it's all right. That's the Target exclusive with a different album cover. Uh. But yeah, so anyway, I went ahead and got the rest of the Lard albums I need. Their first EP. Um, this shit is good as fuck. Uh, the Power of Lard. Um, the song Time to Melt is like 30 minutes long. And, uh, but... Um, Hell Fudge is awesome. The Power of Lard is awesome. And then their last full album... Uh, what is this? Pure Chewing Satisfaction, or no, I think this is before, um, no, this is their, their last full album. This shit is good as fuck, good as fuck. If, I mean, it's just, it's goddamn, um, Jello Biafra from goddamn Dead Kennedys and Al Jurgensen just kicking ass, which is another reason I wanted to get the other lard, because Jello's on the new ministry, and it just sounded like old lard, and I was like, damn, man, yeah, I need to go ahead and get the rest of the lard. <clears throat> uh, what is this? This is the new Leprous album. David talks highly about these guys too. They're a prog metal band. Yeah, I'm gonna sit. And this one, uh, I don't know what their shit sounds like before. He said it's similar to Haken, but this kind of sounds like, it's not what I was expecting as far as prog metal goes. It sounds more like a heavy metal radio head to me, uh, but it's pretty damn decent. Are all three of these the same? Yeah. Why is one of them shorter? Uh, cause the feet are off. The little bottom nubs. Huh? There's little rubber nubs at the bottom. Oh. And the feet are off of it. Don't know where they went. But this right here, I gushed about her. Whoops. 
just about her on the last video, La Lingua Ignata, or Lingua Ignata, however you want to pronounce that. Man, this album is close to best album of the year. Center, get ready. Holy shit. This is phenomenal shit. Just atmospheric as fuck. It's, oh man, I don't know. I don't know. It's just, me and Josh reviewed it. Josh hated it. Well, I loved it. Josh just can't handle the majesty that is uh, Lingua Ignata. Uh, Saws don't like her either. Because <laughs> it's goddamn. How extreme is it? I mean, it's crazy. It'll be like banjos and fucking cicadas and her fucking just wailing over the shit. It is fucking incredible. Fucking incredible. Uh, found the first Lit album. I never knew how heavy this band was. I have that one. That was actually my first Lit album. Yeah? I found that at Goodwill probably in 2010. I put this shit in. I said, damn, man, what? Uh, so yeah, like kind of like Willow Sugar Ray. The shit heavy as fuck. Then kind of went a little more on the pop side. Uh, they didn't really do much after that. Um, yeah, they got a couple albums after, but never yeah. heard a single song off of them. Yeah. Because um, I got one that came out after the one with the big hit. Oh, yeah? And it kind of sucks. Damn. But I also got Lord's uh, Discless Music Box. Fucking paperweight. <laughs> yeah. But I was like, you know, it's cool. I got to go back on the website uh, because... Apparently she's going to be putting extra songs and shit on there that you can download and all this, but uh, it's crazy. It's got everything the CD would come with. Uh, here's the little card. You had to type in this code to get the damn album and shit. So that's your album right there. Yeah, that but it got everything the CD came with, would come with. It's got the lyric book, um, another big ass page of shit, other damn pictures so it's fucking worth it you know you're just not getting a disc and uh, it was so funny if you look at the Amazon reviews so many people are bitching talking about there's no CD then where's the CD there's no CD what the fuck is this bullshit da, da, da. and I'm like y'all motherfuckers it's right there on the title discless music box but uh but yeah I mean smaller crotch yeah, they sell it at walmart and target and i'm like damn here's your piece of paper <laughs> yeah i'm like like imagine the people buying it over there but it does say it on the box yeah but how many people are actually going to read it they're just going to see oh new but it also new has Lord. two extra tracks that aren't on the vinyl version as well i wonder if all that's on the <laughs> streaming thing <clears throat> yeah 14 tracks it might be on the stream so where the fuck was this? Lord, over here. But anyway, next uh, I found this Baz Luhrmann album at the Goodwill. This has that song everybody knows. Um, fucking the, uh, what do you call it? Uh, where is it? Well, there's an EP already. Yeah, everybody's free to wear sun sunscreen. There's She's a Lord EP. A new, new EP that came out last September. Damn. I need, uh, I need to check that out. Uh, <clears throat> and it's weird. Uh, this is a lot of remixes of songs that were featured in his movies like Romeo and Juliet um, and all that kind of shit. Uh, but there's a weird remix of Windows Cry, Love Fool, all that kind of shit. But, uh, it's just interesting. Here's the one with the bonus tracks. Two bonus tracks? Yeah. Fourteen all together? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then next, I finally got this. The, uh, version of Least We Forget, Marilyn Manson with the DVD. Least? It's Less. Or, yeah, Less We Forget. I always say Least. But yeah, with the DVD of all his music videos, uh, so yeah, I finally got that, because normally, normally it's Didn't pretty... you have the original, though? Yeah, I got the cheap-ass fucking bullshit one. Uh, and that, the only reason you got that, because of the cover song, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because they were already done with these Dang. by the time I bought it. 
So finally got this motherfucker. Happy about that. And the thing was, it was it was in a bundle with uh, goddamn Rob Zombie's uh, Past, Present, Future, and uh, Primus. Uh, the fuck is that one? Animals should not try to act like people. And it was twenty bucks for all three. And uh, so I was like, shit. And I just gave those other two to my buddy Chris at work. Damn it, I don't have that Primus. Oh, no, so I thought you had the Primus. Damn it. Because I did it I did it at work. I was just at work on my phone. And I was like, oh, shit, they got this. And uh, I said, Chris, uh, you like Primus, right? Yeah, man. And I was like, look, I'm going to order this, and I'm going to give you these two CDs. <laughs> He's like, all right. But, yeah, damn, I didn't know you didn't yeah. have that Primus. Damn. <laughs> you did not have that Primus. I should have asked you. But, like I said, it was quick and right there at work. Uh, new Mastodon. I... I don't know. <laughs> Not vibing it, man. The first song was great, though. The first song they put out. I forget the net tear jerk, tear something, tear breaker. Whatever it was called. Yes, tear drinker. Yeah, that was a good song, but then, oh God. It just keeps going. So I finally got all the me and that man. This is Nurgle from Behemoth's, uh, Country Western Satanic side project. The the first one, uh, bonus track version, really fucking good. Hmm. The uh, New Man, New Song, Same Shit, Volume 1, that is really good. And then New Man, New Song, Same Shit, Volume 2. Fucking love it. Love the shit out of that. Uh, and yeah, on that big old score... At Goodwill, I found, finally found a Meat Puppets that isn't Too High to Die or Meat Puppets 2. I have not seen Meat Puppets 2 yet. Um, this shit is good. Uh, really fucking good. Uh, I need to go ahead and just get the rest of the Meat Puppets, but damn, this is fucking fantastic. Is that before or after? Right after uh, Too High to Die. Um, this, I need to get their other shit. They got a new one coming out soon, and they got one after this. Uh... Misa, I guess that's how you pronounce it. It is a doom metal band that throw a little jazz in there, and they got a lady singer. This shit is really good. Um, really fucking good. But, uh, yeah, I need to get their other shit. Uh, what is this? Oh, yeah, I found this Mighty Mighty Boss Tones uh, when we were on our anniversary vacation. Uh, this is Don't Know How to Party. That shit's really good. And so I went ahead on my, when I got that ministry, I was like, you know what, since he's got a new TV song, I want the other TV song. So I got the Jesus Built My Hot Rod single, which has TV song part one. And it isn't that much different than TV2, which is on Psalm 69. Uh, it's just got some different parts on there. And then TV3 is on the, um, <coughs> the Fall Reload single. And this has that weird kind of jewel case uh, fucking shit. But uh, this was sealed. Still had the fucking hype sticker on it. Huh. Uh, but TV3 is really cool uh, as well. Um, but yeah, had to get them. Yeah. <clears throat> just to have these. That continuing... Why am I putting it in there? That continuing saga of the TV tracks... And then the new Ministry album, really fucking good. Uh, what is this? Oh yeah, Mouse Rat. Got the Mouse Rat. This is, this is like half good. The best songs are like the first couple, like The Pit, 500 Candles in the Wind, the Six is, Hair. The Pit is the best song. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and Catch Your Dream, I like. Two Birds Holding Hands, an awesome song. Um, but then it just kind of loses a little steam for a couple tracks for me, and then, uh, I don't know, it just kind of, just neanders. Yeah, I got bored with it. Yeah, it just kind of neanders. Like, it's not as great as I wanted it to be, but I was like, I'm getting it, man, I love How it. many songs are on it? Uh. Because I felt like it was way longer than it should have been. 16. Yeah, it's way longer than it should have been. 16, but it's fairly short. But I know they're trying but to... Why? add everything from the show but, but they got like a couple like 
the let's call the whole thing off the potato potato song on here that's stupid like why why I mean I think he did that in the show I cannot remember because wasn't remember. he on a kid's show for a little while yeah Johnny Karate yeah um, he do not remember he could have done it on there do not remember but it's fine uh, yeah it's been like six seven years since yeah, I finished that show it's been ages since that show ended uh but it, it tripped me out because I liked I liked the songs when I heard them on the show because I was like, eh, it kind of has like a Dave Matthews vibe. And I'm yeah, glad that it, they kept the Dave Matthews vibe for this thing. I was like, it I'm sounds more it. like a uh, hootie. Yeah, yeah, very hootie, very hootie, very fucking hootie. Uh, now this... But I still feel like it should have came out eight years ago. Yeah, I don't, I don't know why they... Like around the time when the series was ending... Would have been the perfect time to put out a CD. Yeah. And no one is, like, buying it now. Yeah. Unless it's, like, out of nostalgia. Yeah, and that's part of why I buy it. I was like, oh, man, yeah, I'm, I'm going to buy it. Because Chris Pratt. But this is a band called Mute Prophet. And I was all the time be scrolling through Facebook and would see this little advertisement it would be this band uh, doing symphonic metal in their little home studio. And uh, I, I finally, one day, I hit the sound button to see what it sounded like. And I was like, you know what, this ain't bad. The girl's singing really good. The, guitar, the guys on the guitars are really good. Uh, and it said, get, get our free signed CD. Just pay shipping. And I was like, okay, I'll do that. You know, for an unknown band, da-da-da. Well, once I did that, it said, um, hey, uh, go ahead and get all our CDs signed uh, for just $10. And I was like, all right, okay. Man, it took a month for this shit to come in. They are signed on the disc uh, by everybody. The discs are the, you know, the, the, the home manufactured ones. Uh, but, man... All right, so this is what the band looks like. All right. How about this band? I'm the nicest thing I could say is they have potential. Big problem is how long they've been around? Couple years. Um, well, every band has potential. They also have potential to suck. Oh yeah. So, the nicest thing I can say is they have potential to be a like, lot better. Big I problem is, no real fucking drums. All programmed drums. They are, it's a symphonic metal band. Biggest problem is her voice. Man. Well, yeah, I she mean. She cannot hit certain registers, and she tries her damnedest, and her voice will break and go off key. It's on Ooh. here. It is on here, man. And it's like, oh, oh, why? And the guitarist, the guitarist feels very pompous uh, because it is, they just don't know how to, it feels like, all right, we're, here's a little orchestral intro, guitars. It's like if they don't know what to do at a certain section, guitar solo, guitar solo. And then even the guitar solos, like I hear flubs here and there. And I'm like, oh, God, y'all left that. I leave fuck-ups on, fuck ups on all of them? Yeah, to an extent. Like, they get better as they go along. They really do. But, man, that, that one is real bad. Oh, my God. But, man. Man. If she's not a good singer, that's like a very, very bad thing for a band. Man. If you're the front man, you got to front it. And her shit will be good. She's decent when she screams, and she's decent when she sings, but sometimes she just tries to hit a, a high note that she just fucking physically can't. But she yeah. Sounds like she needs to go to vocal school. Something. Something. Because it is. Woof. Uh, but what is this shit? Buzz, your oh, girlfriend. Yeah, this is that, uh, ah. that island single you gave me from uh, Nightwish. Uh... All right, we're going on this shelf now. So, part of the big old Goodwill score that I found this NoFX album. And that's pretty good. Uh, and I found a couple No Means No albums. This is like punk 
by way of Primus or Prog Punk? I don't know. This one is phenomenal. <laughs> Fantastic. And this one's really fucking good. Uh, and then my buddy Kim sent me this in the mail, uh, Nova Rain. This is just a pretty cool folk power metal kind of band. Um... Uh, Kind of proggy and shit. Uh, then this, uh, the new album from Nightland. This is like a, I don't know, doom folk with goddamn throat singing and shit. Just witchy, kind of in the woods, fucking, I don't know, man. This is pretty wild. Pretty good fucking, uh, pretty good shit. I mean, for a band like this to be on Napalm Records and they're not a metal band, pretty cool. Uh, found Oleander this year. Oh, no, 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 no. I finally got the, uh, second Old Dirty Bastard. Uh, love this fucking album. I can't, I'm, I'm not going to pronounce the name. Inward, please. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, I mean, uh, that's not the name of the album. It's got dashes in it and stars. Yeah, so what would you say? In star, 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 A, please. But this has the song everybody knows. Uh, hey, dirty, baby, I got your money. Oh, wow. Don't you worry. And there's a thing that uh, annoys me uh, on commercials when they take songs, popular songs, and then change the lyrics yeah. to match the product that they're selling. One You're is crumb believable. Uh, yeah, they're crumb believable. Uh, that always annoyed me. Well, earlier this year, there are uh, these laundry commercials. Oh God! Like, hey, dirty. Baby, I got your laundry. Don't what is that worry. other one? It was like for ice cream or something. Uh, Scoop, there it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> God damn it. God damn it, yeah. Was um, it ice cream or what, what the uh, fuck was it? I think it? it was the chips. The Scoop. Okay, the Frito okay. Scoops, maybe. Okay. <laughs> uh, there was another one earlier this year for Arby's Crinkle Fries. And it was like, I love Crinkle Fries. Like... No. <laughs> I think I remember hearing that not long ago. <laughs> fucking no. At least it's not number the one. Number one, ain't going to Arby's song. for crinkle fries, motherfucker. We going for curly fries. Yeah. And number two, don't fuck up that goddamn sugar ray. <laughs> I want crinkle fries. Oh my it's god. It's still better than hearing that fucking Applebee's song. Oh yeah, that popular country hip hop track yeah. where they taking them to Applebee's or whatever. Yeah, not a fan. Not a fan. Uh, but yeah, I found the, I guess this is the first Oleander. Uh, this is really good. There's, there's songs that be sounding like Nirvana, and then there's songs that sound like Goo Goo Dolls. Mm -hmm. It's like such an in-between album for me. Uh, and finally found uh, this. This was great. I uh, found some more Orb, their album UFO, or UF Orb. And this is the two-disc version with the um, the full version of Blue Room at 40 minutes. If and you can handle some ambient house. I've seen that at Goodwill a lot. Oh yeah, this shit is good. If you're into like the IBM kind of music or IDM, fucking man, that shit is good. Uh, also, I finally found this. I guess this is the original copy of uh, Love Below. Oh, you ended up changing the cover. Because they had it to where, apparently they were all sold like this. Yeah. Um, but you, So you apparently got two covers you can use there. Uh, it's weird, the back is upside down. Um, but it's right, right there. Yeah. That's weird to me. But uh, man, the Love Below side is really good. I haven't listened to the speaker box side though, because I've always been a bigger fan of uh, Andre. But yeah, so I just got to get their very first album, and I'll have all the Outcast. Uh, found White Chocolate Space Egg from Liz Fair. This is fantastic, really good, really good fucking album. Uh, the new Poppy, really goddamn good. Uh, really good fucking album. Real uh, '90s alt rock chick, very Veruca Salt, very uh, Jack Off Jill styles on here. And just a lot of interesting shit going on. Definitely not as heavy as uh, I disagree, but uh, I'm glad. Because uh, we got all that stuff on her EP earlier last year as well. Didn't we listen to this? Didn't we do a first listen on that? 
Did we do a review? I, th I think we did do a review for that Poppy album, but I don't think you heard listened to it. I think it was just me and Josh talking. I don't remember. Uh, what is this? Okay, I found some more prints. I found uh, Love Sexy, and this is the original CD version where all the songs are on one track. And when I first bought it, I was at Second and Charles, and I popped it in the CD player, and I was listening to it, you know, and I was like, all right, okay, that's a cool song. Let me skip to the next one. And it just restarted the damn CD, and I was like, what the fuck? Did it again. Why and is I'm it like, like that? I have no idea. I have no clue why he did it that way. Um, but, uh, yeah. I was like, but it's really fucking good. You have to sit down and give your full attention. Apparently re-releases broke it all into tracks, you know, and I get it. I get it because I'm like, I don't want to sit through a print song that I don't like. Yeah. You know? Uh, then I found uh, his you album. You can hold the skip button. Right, right. I found his album uh, Graffiti Bridge from his uh, other movie, Graffiti Bridge. This is really good. I was like, damn, man, this is fucking awesome. Um, but yeah, that's after the Batman soundtrack uh okay i found this band raven black uh dig the shit out of them just a cool weird heavy metal band with a lady singing uh but got their first little uh ep um goddamn seven tracks or i guess first album uh seven sins and then their second one 13 another seven tracks they do a cover of the nobodies for marilyn manson on here which is pretty good and then, I'm guessing their first full-length album, The Key, that shit's really good, too. Um, yeah, fucking, finally got uh, Freaky Styly from... Is there Chili bonus Peppers? stuff on yeah, there? Yeah, that's that bonus re-release one. Demos. Because I had found, uh... Okay. I had found, by the way, Goodwill, and then I realized, damn, I have... I don't, I've only got like four more Chili Pepper albums to get, and I'll have them all. So, fuck it, let me go ahead and start getting them all. So, I'm waiting on Mother's Milk to come in the mail, then I gotta order the, uh, the last two. Uh, what is this? Found this R.E.M. album, Eponymous at the Goodwill. Isn't that one, like, a greatest hit? Not really, it's like alternate versions of shit. Fucking... Eh. Yeah, because I've got that one too, and I don't know if I want to keep it or not. And another Al Jurgensen band, Revolting Cox. This shit is good. I like how the udders are dicks. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, that shit's rad. Uh, what is this shit? Oh, yeah, I found, uh,. Some more Royal Crown Review. I found that one earlier this year. But I found these two at Second and Charles. This is the one, Muggsy's Move, with uh, the songs from uh, The Mask. Mm, Goddamn. Okay. Hey, Pachuco. Fucking. And then the one after The Contender, uh, Walk on Fire. That shit's good as fuck. Love the hell out of this band. Uh. This shit. Uh, finally got the second Scars on Broadway on CD. Uh, <clears throat> it was sold out for a couple years. I didn't know until this year that he put it on CD when I was looking around on Discogs. Motherfuckers were buying this for 60 bucks. Said it was only sold on his website. So I went to his website, it said sold out. But click here to get an email notification when it gets in stock. So I did that. Not thinking that it would, you know, I'm like, maybe it's just long out of print now. Well, I got an email one day at work, said blah, 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 in stock. I was like, oh, shit, like fucking $12? Mm. Fucking buy right fucking here. And, uh, yeah, so got this motherfucker finally. Fucking finally. How is it? Uh, it's good as fuck. I like it a lot more than the first one. Uh... But I've had it, I've had the MP3 from Josh forever. Uh, this right here, uh, Lindsay Schoolcraft's first album, she played keyboard uh, and did female vocals on Cradle of Filth for a couple years. And this album is fine. Uh, it kind of reminds me more like Evanescence, uh, kind of a 
pop goth metal-y vibe to it. This is really good. Um, what the hell is this shit? Okay, now this is Seven Spires, the new Seven Spires album. This band is phenomenal. This is a symphonic metal band that throw a little bit of black metal in there. This lady can scream, she can sing, she can do it all. Uh, but one of the one of the more impressive symphonic metal bands away from uh, Nightwish for me because they get they get fairly technical, you know. Um, and then this right here. Seventh Void is a band uh, featuring Johnny and Kenny from Typo Negative. Uh, this is this was made before Pete Steele died, but it's pretty good. Just real doomy, uh, doomy uh, metal shit. Um, but uh, not as good as Typo. And I don't know where the fuck that shit was. Uh, what is this shit? Oh yeah, Shakespeare's sister. Uh, I haven't listened to it yet, so <laughs> <laughs> that's that. Oh shit! Uh, found this "She and Him" Christmas album. Haven't listened to it yet. <laughs> uh, this is another band that the Lingua Ignata sings on, called Sightless Pit. That shit is really fucking good. The blackest of black. It's so black. Um, don't even know where the fuck that was sitting either. Um, and then this is Silver Tomb. This is another band that uh, dudes from uh, Typo Negative did. This came out two years ago. This is really good. I like this more than the Seventh Void. Um, oh God, man! I hate having to get down this low on shit. <clears throat> but we're almost done with this shelf. What is this motherfucker? Oh yeah, got some more Sister Machine Gun. This album's alright. I don't like it as much as the ones before, but it's pretty good. Um, What is this garbage? Oh yeah, I found this at Chad's store, this Sonic Youth album, and sadly that's not the ICP we know. That's an anagram for some other kind of band, but it's some collaboration album they did. Uh, that's weird and interesting. Oh yeah, let me see if my Sonic Youth has that... them naked motherfuckers. Because I doubt it. This is the old Super Deluxe reissue. Goddamn shit. No naked people there. But I mean, I think I've seen enough naked people for today. <laughs> so, no naked people. So, I'm gonna have to find the original copy of this just to get the naked people. Why? Just cause. <laughs> Just cause, man. Um, where did the plastic go? Right there. Aw. Oh. It would depend on how much those naked people cost. Well, I spent $40 for a picture of Lord's crotch, so... For the vinyl? Yeah. Well, that's, that's a vinyl. You bought it just to put it on the wall. Yeah, it's just a poster. big old, big old Lord Crutch on the wall. Found this Halloween sound CD. I'm a big fan of Halloween sound effects CDs. I see a lot of those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is. I've listened to some of it, man. It's pretty cool. This one's actually got a lot of cool shit happening. I like on the it. orange. Yeah, yeah. Jewel I like case. the orange cool. jewel case backing. Um, really cool. <clears throat> This Regina Spector album, she I like a lot, but I didn't, I listened to this album once. Uh, it's got that song, um, I forget what it's called, but I know you know it. It's played in like every PetSmart and shit, but it's oh, like, it Pet Smart. with my, I don't know, it's kind of annoying, uh, but. It, 
it be what it do. It be what it is. All right, so over here, the goddamn wall CDs. Oh, I can't go any further. <sighs> found a bunch of damn prints. Not prints. Sticks. Uh, found their album. Prince. Pieces of eight. Um, and you didn't already have that one? Cornerstone. Huh? Thought you already had that one with the people on it. Nah. And uh, Paradise Theater. I had that one on vinyl. Um, you had it? Yeah, I gave that old stack to Jason and his girlfriend. Um, but yeah, damn good Prince albums. Oh, I got them Prince again. Damn yeah. good Sticks albums. Uh, this is the new Sumo Psycho. This is another little female fronted band. It's decent. Um, I kind of call it like pop metal. We're like, it's very catchy metal. I don't know, it's, it's all right. Um, the new Tetrarch album. This is great. This, uh, this made me be like, damn, man, am I really nostalgic for new metal? What the fuck? But yeah, this shit, it'll sound like Static X. It, sound, it sounds like 2002, the album. Fucking really good shit. Uh, then I went ahead and completed the studio album uh, from they, they Might Be Giants. But I went. I got this because uh, I wasn't gonna get the Dial a Song Greatest Hits thing, but I got it because the album My Murdered Remains is hard to get a hold of, and it was bundled together. It was like ten dollars. Mm. It was, in fact, it was bundled together for ten bucks with these two and the John Henry Demos album. Uh, so I was like, yeah, I'll, I'll I'll handle this. But this is really good. It's got a lot of shit on here. Uh, alternate versions, some live songs, and um, it's got the, 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 the Dr. Evil song, and uh, it's got the Malcolm in the Middle song and all that shit. Dr. Evil song? Yeah, from uh, Austin Powers 2. Oh. Spire Shaving. Evil, evil, this is the one and only name. Oh, right okay. Uh, <clears throat> but yeah, so I got... I got that, and I got uh, Glean, uh, Phone Power, the John Henry demos. Um, what is so this? So you one? got every one of their albums now. Yeah, uh, I you like all the kids' songs. Uh, do not have. I've only got one children's album. Then you don't have built. them all. I I ain't counting those too heavily. Why? Because <laughs> they're kid albums. Like those to me are like scoop ups. I'll get them eventually. Mm. Uh, but yeah, I like fun, My Murdered Remains, and The Escape Team. Uh, like, are they traditional kid songs? What's the, what's the deal? It's just, it just sounds like, uh, like on this one that I got, uh, no. It just sounds like they might be giants, just not as depressive or, uh, murdery. <laughs> you know, a little more, it, I mean, the, the, there's a lot of, the, it doesn't sound too different from normal They Might Be Giants, uh, at all. To tell you the truth, but I'm just not like I don't want ABCs, one, two, threes, fucking albums. You know, is that here what comes science. Saying? Yeah, there's like one called Here Comes the ABCs. Here comes the one, two, threes. Here comes science. <laughs> yeah, but there's one studio album that I will never be able to get uh, that they only released online back in '99. Who the fuck's buying an album online in '99? I know, weird, but. All their shit's good. They don't have a bad album. Found the second Third Eye Blind. I still haven't listened to this. I got that one. Um, <clears throat> fucking the new Tune Yards album. Tune Yards. Tune Yards. New Tune Yards. This is really fucking good. Man, this is really fucking good. Uh, now, a question, people. Uh, this band. Is it Tune Yards or Tune Yards? Tune Yards. I know. Uh, um, that's the question for the people. Yeah, question on the people. Do you call them tuneyards? <laughs> and that's how we say it in the South. Tuneyards. <laughs> Down here in, in Georgia. Uh, as a as a as a thirty five year old white man in in twenty twenty two, am I allowed to say the name of this band? Turbo Negro. Am I allowed to say Turbo Negro? Yeah. Negro just means black. Yeah. yeah. But am I allowed? Come in your comments in the comments. <laughs> or should I call them Turbo N-Word? What should I do? 
Turbo Black. Turbo Black. Turbo Black. But yeah, big question. That's the first Turbo Negro. Because that guy, uh, Hank yeah, he Von Hill, yeah, he, he actually uh, sings on the first track on the new um, Me and That Man album. And he died the day the album came out. Damn. Trip me the fuck out. Uh, but he doesn't sing on this first Turbo Negro. So. <clears throat> Alright, the new uh, 12 Foot Ninja, this is fantastic. And they broke up, right? No, the singer's leaving, so I'm disappointed. I'm like, y'all better not do Isn't he no like the, one dude. of the best parts of them? He's one of the best. Like, everybody is the best part, but. They have to get a singer who, with the range this guy can fucking handle. Because, like, you better well, not it, just get a I screamer just feel like singer if it's guy. Something that, <clears throat> the dude's that, too unique. Yeah, if it's something that unique, the band should just break up. The band sh could, should stay together, just find another band, another <laughs> singer and do something else. Probably, yeah. But I wound up getting a bunch of Twisted albums. Because they had a new album drop. And I was like, you know what, let me get some more Twisted. So I got their... Songs of Sam Hain Halloween album from 2020. That's really good. I got their Electric Lettuce EP from last year. That's really good. It's just six songs about smoking weed. Really good. Um, I got their album Nightmare or Generation Nightmare. That's pretty cool. Kind of a mixture between their heavy metal shit and the rap shit. The new album is really good. It's all metal. It's all fucking metal. The only song with rap on it is the one that uh, features uh, Danny Filth. But I'm like, damn, that's one of my favorite songs on the album, man. I'm like, shit, damn, that fucking, that song goes off. Then I got their new album, uh, their new uh, Halloween album, Songs of Sam Hain 2. Or would you say Songs of Samhain? Or would they pronounce it Sam Hain? Who the fuck cares? But apparently, it's, uh, oh, it's, yeah, it's got a sticker in there. But... Apparently it's supposed to be a pumpkin scented disc or booklet. Something is supposed to smell like fucking pumpkins. But I don't smell it. It smells like paper. Yeah, it smells like plastic and paper. It, it, does it scratch and sniff? Nah, no clue. But you know, Forgotten Freshness 4 is supposed to smell like pumpkins too, and I never noticed either. It smells like a fucking book. Yeah. Paper. Maybe your sticker smells like it. Who knows. But they're all pretty good. I'm still not the biggest Twisted fan. Um, but you got like 10 CDs from them. Yeah, I got like 5 of them this year. Uh, what is this? No, all right. I'm not the biggest fan, says the man with like 30 CDs by the same. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is uh, the new Untamed Land. This is amazing. This is black metal with western music mixed in it. So it'll sound like goddamn the good, the bad, and the ugly, and then go into some badass fucking metal. Man, this shit is great. Uh, there's a lot of cool shit happening in black metal right now, uh, like Untamed Land, Zeal in Our Door, fucking uh, Batushka. What is this? Found the first. Oh, I can go further. Yeah, found the first Violent Films at a. I got that. At a good. I don't group. know if it's got that ribbon on the that orange thing on it. Yeah, it says contains two bonus tracks. This yeah, is I don't the think first CD release. That. But I did not know they did that Blister in the Sun song. Huh. I did not know that was them. Because it really doesn't sound like their later stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then this album is wild, man. It's it's almost too annoying to listen to. <laughs> <laughs> um, <coughs> now we're on the final shelf. We're almost done, everybody. There's, hell, only a couple more CDs to look at. But finally got Keller Williams' laugh with the song Freaker by the Speaker. That's just good. And what is this shit? Um, got some uh, Chelsea Wolf. She's a kind of gothy uh, chick, but it ain't really like goth music. I like this one more than this one. Uh, and then I found this at the uh, Goodwill, this Wolfman Jack's Halloween special. And I only got it because the cover is like, oh, this crazy 3D lenticular thing. Um, Nothing moves, it just looks 3D. Yeah, I, I've always liked those that look 3D, though. Yeah, like the Rob Zombie ones and shit. Because it's like, it's 3D without glasses. But uh, it has, 
It's the annoying. Monster Mash. Yeah, obviously that's on here. But other shit like Haunted House, uh, Purple People Eater. But other shit. It's got the Witch Doctor. The goddamn chipmunks. All the Witch Doctor. And yeah. Loving you. And I really like the Little Red Riding Hood song. But some of the shit like Chubby Checkers doing the zombie is fucking stupid. Uh, it's got a supernatural thing on here and Dead Man's Curve. It's not very great. I'm like, why don't y'all have the Hearst song on here? Why don't you have the goddamn Hearst song here? It's a goddamn Halloween album. No fucking Hearst song? Come the fuck on, people. Hearst? Yeah, the Hearst song. Um, don't you laugh when a Hearst rides by, cause you may just be the next to die. Mm. The worms crawl in, the worms crawl out, the worms play pinochle on your snout. Uh, Are those already sticking out? Hmm, what, these? Yeah, that's just Frank Zappa shit. And so the last CD, I finally got uh, another little Rob Zombie Holy Grail. I finally got the deluxe edition of Hellbilly Deluxe 2. It's a little hard to get a hold of. I got this one for about $15. Uh, but I've, I've rarely see it lower than 30 but uh, this one, you have like two or three new songs added and then an alternate version of The Man Who Laughs that's not as long and they replaced the long drum solo with a mandolin solo from John 5. And Joey Jordison plays drums on the new tracks and stuff. So it's interesting. And to me, uh, I had a little more fun listening to this version than the, uh, the standard version. Um, but there's a song on here called Michael, and it's a song about fucking Michael Myers. So I'm like, yeah, he, he always kind of has a song that his movies are based on, so I guess might as well do a Michael Myers song, because you did Halloween. That was right after he did the Halloween movies, wasn't yeah. it? Or right when Halloween 2 was coming out. Yeah, it was like, what, a year after Halloween 2? Man, that new one is ridiculous. I've heard... How he just has supernatural powers. I've heard. But yeah, so that's the CD collection so far. So that's 171 Good CDs. Lord. Uh, and so maybe in the next couple months, we'll see how the year goes. It wasn't four hours or five hours. This one was probably two hours. Yeah, yours was like two and a half. Really? Mm -hmm. It's rendering now. God damn. I'll upload them in a little while. But, uh, yeah, so, let us know, man, what y'all think about some of this shit. Are some of these albums good, or some of them garbage? Probably a lot of garbage. Let it do. Make fun of me about the ICP. We'll see y'all next time.